So how's it going everybody? It's been a while since I uploaded a video and I have good reason. I've been busy. I've moved. I'm now in Vancouver. So it's been a hectic past couple of months and this is being filmed right after I've arrived at my apartment. So it's on my phone camera and I also don't have my desktop or anything here so I can't do any editing or anything fancy. But I thought I'd just check in with you guys and let you know I'm still alive and I was going to show you guys how I travel with my bike um, for reasonably cheap. So behind me you see I have a giant bike box and I just picked this up at one of the local, um, local bike shops uh, in Mississauga and they gave it to me for free and they also gave me a bunch of packing materials and the bike shops they have so many of these um, bike boxes especially in the early season because they're getting these shipped in and they're building bikes and essentially these just get thrown out. So Cyclepath in Oakville actually gave me this box and they gave it for free so thank you to them. Alright so let's see what's in the box. I have some good secure tape which I've since removed. And let me show you how I pack this. So it depends Every box is different, but I take advantage of the box and use it to also um, ship some of my clothing. So over here, I have all of my cycling-related clothes. I have a, a little multi-tool as well. I actually have lost my saddlebag because I left it in the parking lot of a race. So I'm going to have to go pick one up. And then I also have my sleeping bag, and since I've just moved in... Um, I'll go quickly to the bed. I don't actually have any bed sheets, so I'll be sleeping on that with the sleeping bag um, until all my stuff arrives in two weeks. And also a towel, a camping towel, I'll be using that throughout the week. Then I just have random stuff in here. That's just food, all my bottles. Bottles, bottles. So this is something I try to do is between the, so these are, it's hard to see, but these are the rear um, dropouts. So I try to shove stuff between them so that if stuff gets piled on top of my bike, there's a bit of a structure so all the weight isn't um, flexing the dropouts. So my helmet was actually um, serving that purpose as well. And then you can see I use just an old sheet to wrap the bike in as well as I have um, some styrofoam. But that's all there really is to this, so let me unpack this bike. Alright, my new condo is already very messy. It's a good thing my girlfriend isn't moving in for a couple weeks. But there is the bike completely built. You may notice I have these hyper wheels now instead of the primes, and that's because through the team I'm riding for this year... Here we go, here's the jersey. Through the team, there's the there's their logo UNC. We we got some hyper wheels, which have been really good so far, lighter than the primes. Although I can't tell the difference, but in theory they should be faster. But the only thing I have left to do now is pump up the tires, and I didn't bring a pump with me, and all my tools are in a shipping container getting shipped. So I'm going to have to scavenge in. Um, the bike parking area and see if anybody has left their frame pump. But first I'm gonna go get some groceries and eat because I haven't eaten in a while. Alright, so groceries are done and I may have renounce my Canadian citizenship because I bought this table syrup instead of maple syrup. But I'm in struggling life mode, so this is all I can do. But now that I've done groceries and eaten, I'm gonna go find a pump, pump up my tires, and go for a ride. Well, this is why I came to BC. What a beautiful road. All uphill, no stopping. Oh, I'm happy now. Alright, that's Mount Seymour done. I just came down and I've never made such a good decision of wearing arm warmers. 
It's scary going down that. Anyways, I'll see you guys at home. Well, I just got back. Um, yeah, it's my first day in Vancouver. Um, I rode, I did groceries. Uh, what else? What else can you ask for? Tomorrow, I have to actually go into work, and we're doing uh, team lunch, so that'll be interesting. And I already have a second bike lined up that I'm going to be buying um, just to commute on because I don't want to be commuting on that. And I also want something um, with aluminum brakes, aluminum brake pads, so when it rains, I can train on that. Anyways, that's the end of this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.